Welcome, my friends. As you know, the list of tech companies laying off employees just continues to get longer. Amazon is set to lay off 9,000 more workers in addition to earlier cuts. Amazon will lay off 9,000 more employees in the coming weeks, CEO Andy Jassy said in a memo to staff Monday. The cuts follow an earlier round of layoffs that began in November and extended into January, which affected more than 18,000 staffers. The latest round is expected to impact Amazon's cloud computing, advertising, human resources and Twitch units. This video continues our coverage of the wave of layoffs sweeping the United States. What does it mean for Amazon? What does it mean for big tech companies? What does it mean for the economy? And, what does it mean for the future of the United States? But, before we get into all of that, please press the like button and leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Reports are surfacing today that Amazon will lay off another 9,000 employees. Amazon will lay off 9,000 more employees in the coming weeks, CEO Andy Jassy said in a memo to staff on Monday. The cuts are on top of the previously announced layoffs that began in November and extended into January. That round totaled more than 18,000 employees, and primarily affected staffers in its retail, devices, recruiting and human resources groups. Amazon made the decision to lay off more employees as it looks to streamline costs. It took into account the economy, as well as the uncertainty that exists in the near future, Jassy said. The company just wrapped up the second phase of its annual budgeting process, referred to internally as OP2. The overriding tenet of our annual planning this year was to be leaner while doing so in a way that enables us to still invest robustly in the key long-term customer experiences that we believe can meaningfully improve customers' lives and Amazon as a whole, Jassy said. The latest round will primarily impact Amazon's cloud computing, human resources, advertising and Twitch live streaming businesses, Jassy said in the memo. Amazon is undergoing the largest layoffs in company history after it went on a hiring spree during the COVID-19 pandemic. The company's global workforce swelled to more than 1.6 million by the end of 2021, up from 798,000 in the fourth quarter of 2019. Jassy is also undergoing a broad overview of the company's expenses as it reckons with an economic downturn and slowing growth in its core retail business. Amazon froze hiring in its corporate workforce, axed some experimental projects and slowed warehouse expansion. While the company aims to operate leaner this year, Jassy said he remains optimistic about the company's largest businesses, retail and Amazon Web Services, as well as other, new divisions it continues to invest in. Here's the full memo from Jassy. As we've just concluded the second phase of our operating plan, OP2, this past week, I'm writing to share that we intend to eliminate about 9,000 more positions in the next few weeks, mostly in AWS, PXT, advertising, and Twitch. This was a difficult decision, but one that we think is best for the company long term. The following statement was released by Amazon CEO Andy Jassy. As part of our annual planning process, leaders across the company work with their teams to decide what investments they want to make for the future. Prioritizing what matters most to customers and the long-term health of our businesses. For several years leading up to this one, most of our businesses added a significant amount of headcount. This made sense given what was happening in our businesses and the economy as a whole. However, given the uncertain economy in which we reside, and the uncertainty that exists in the near future, we have chosen to be more streamlined in our costs and headcount. The overriding tenet of our annual planning this year was to be leaner while doing so in a way that enables us to still invest robustly in the key long-term customer experiences that we believe can meaningfully improve customers' lives and Amazon as a whole. As our internal businesses evaluated what customers most care about, they made re-prioritization decisions that sometimes led to role reductions, sometimes led to moving people from one initiative to another and sometimes led to new openings where we don't have the right skills match from our existing team members. This initially led us to eliminate 18,000 positions, which we shared in January, and, as we completed the second phase of our planning this month, it led us to these additional 9,000 role reductions, though you will see limited hiring in some of our businesses in strategic areas where we prioritized allocating more resources. Some may ask why we didn't announce these role reductions with the ones we announced a couple months ago. The short answer is that not all of the teams were done with their analyses in the late fall. 
And rather than rush through these assessments without the appropriate diligence, we chose to share these decisions as we've made them so people had the information as soon as possible. The same is true for this note as the impacted teams are not yet finished making final decisions on precisely which roles will be impacted. Once those decisions have been made, our goal is to have this complete by mid to late April. We will communicate with the impacted employees, or where applicable in Europe, with employee representative bodies. We will, of course, support those we have to let go, and will provide packages that include a separation payment, transitional health insurance benefits, and external job placement support. If I go back to our tenant, being leaner while doing so in a way that enables us to still invest robustly in the key long-term customer experiences that we believe can meaningfully improve customers' lives and Amazon as a whole. I believe the result of this year's planning cycle is a plan that accomplishes this objective. I remain very optimistic about the future and the myriad of opportunities we have. Both in our largest businesses, stores and AWS. And our newer customer experiences and businesses in which we're investing to those ultimately impacted by these reductions. I want to thank you for the work you have done on behalf of customers and the company. It's never easy to say goodbye to our teammates, and you will be missed. To those who will continue with us, I look forward to partnering with you as we make life easier for customers every day and relentlessly inventing to do so. According to the report, the layoff would primarily impact three segments of Amazon's corporate employee base. The devices organization. The retail division and human resources. 10,000 positions would be less than 1% of Amazon's global employee base. It would be 3% of Amazon's corporate employees. Amazon did not make a spokesperson available to comment on the layoffs. As you might imagine, the upcoming holiday shopping season is critical for Amazon. Normally, Amazon values organizational stability, especially during the holiday season. If you recall, last week, Amazon announced a hiring freeze for corporate positions. Like a lot of other big tech companies, Amazon went on a hiring spree during the COVID-19 pandemic. This seemed to make sense at the time because a lot of people were working from home. Access to brick and mortar stores was highly restricted. And many people just did not want to risk catching COVID-19 through what they saw as unnecessary contact with other people. As such Amazon had to keep up with a pandemic-driven increase in online shopping. But since the pandemic has come to an end and the economy has opened up again, Amazon slowed headcount growth. Now, many consumers have returned to physical stores. And as a result, growth of Amazon's retail business has slowed. That is a major shift from the years leading up to the pandemic. We have all become accustomed to high double-digit growth from Amazon. And from a lot of other big tech companies, for that matter. But as things stand right now, Amazon's retail business is no longer much a growth business. And Amazon is not the only tech company whose growth has declined to pedestrian levels. As you know, some tech companies actually have flat lining or declining revenue. For example, Netflix revenue actually shrunk for the first half of 2022 before showing slight growth in Q3. And, of course, Meta has reported declining revenue for three consecutive quarters and is probably headed for a fourth. Amazon aggressively cut expenses across the company amid fears of a recession. If you follow this channel, you already know the economic narrative of the times. Inflation is raging in most countries around the world. Central banks around the globe are aggressively raising interest rates. Consumers are feeling less confident. And they are cutting back on discretionary spending. Amazon has actually cut warehouse space. In fact, Amazon has also cancelled new warehouses that were on the drawing board. New Amazon CEO Andy Jassy is showing that he is a very different CEO than previous CEO Jeff Bezos. And the future Amazon is not the Amazon of the past. We could be seeing the maturation of Amazon. If that is the case, then it would probably be followed by a period of slower growth. And, then by financialization of Amazon by Wall Street. There would eventually be calls from shareholders for dividends to be paid. Snap has publicly announced layoffs of 20% of its employees. Google, Meta, and Snap are probably the most notable of the companies reducing headcount. But there are many others. This year, it is clear that Wall Street analysts are valuing profitability over prospective growth. As a result, unprofitable tech companies' shares are getting punished. It seems that the day of reckoning for tech unicorns has arrived. And all companies are forced to either be profitable, find a merge partner, or die. The window for initial public offerings is effectively closed. 
That is why some Wall Street investment bankers are predicting a wave of tech mergers later this year. But, what do you think? Please leave us a comment below and hit the like button. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.